Using the ABC Library, Expanded Commission E. As you may already know, the complete German Commission E monographs, or Commission E for short, are monographs produced by an expert committee formed by the German government to evaluate the safety and efficacy of more than 300 herbs and herb combinations. ABC translated them into English, published them in book form in 1998, and made the entire book available on its website. Herbal Medicine Expanded Commission E monographs, found in the left navigation on ABC's website as Expanded E, is the follow-up book, published in 2000, wherein ABC expanded 101 existing approved monographs from Commission E on popular herbs in the U.S. and added six more popular U.S. herbs that weren't in Commission E. In this case, expanded means the information in the monograph on each approved herb from the Commission E was updated. Expanded Commission E also includes additional sections containing information on chemistry, pharmacology, dosage and administration, extensive references, and full-color photos. Sample monographs are available to the public, while access to the complete database is reserved for ABC members. To explore the database, let's use Echinacea as an example. If you click on the herb of your choice, in this case Echinacea purpurea, it will take you to the herb record. You will see the Latin name, the pharmacopoeial name, as well as other common names. We saw this in the German Commission E monographs too. The linked table of contents enables you to quickly access any section of the monograph by clicking on the section name. The overview of the herb contains more information than was in the original Commission E monograph, including historical background, usage by different cultures, information on pharmacological and clinical studies, and more. The description section includes information on the plant part, botanical name, plant family, required time of harvest, and, in some cases, some of the primary chemical constituents. Chemistry and Pharmacology is one of the new sections of the monographs and contains chemistry and pharmacological and therapeutic information on the herb. The Uses section shows internal and external applications of the herb in folk medicine or in clinical practice. In the expanded Commission E, this section was expanded to include the World Health Organization's findings in support of the Commission E and in some cases, those from other organizations like the European Scientific Cooperative on Phytotherapy or ESCOP. The contraindication section lists conditions or diseases for which this particular herb is contraindicated. They are classified into the same medical categories as noted in uses above in internal and external contraindications. The side effects section explains possible adverse effects. Use during pregnancy and lactation contains information related to safety for pregnant and lactating women using the herb. The interaction with other drugs section delivers information on the potential adverse or synergistic reactions associated with the simultaneous use of herbs and conventional drugs. The doses and administration section provides information related to internal and external dosage, administration, and how long the herb should be taken. Newer information than was contained in the original Commission E monograph on dosage and administration was added to this section. References and additional resources is a new section. Additional resources are not cited in the monograph, but are included for research purposes. The expanded Commission E is an excellent database for healthcare practitioners, pharmacists and dietitians, academics and scientists, and writers on herbs and health issues. Both the Commission E and Expanded Commission E are available to all ABC members at any level.